Welcome back, part three, final part of our Pilates circuit. Going to get straight into the set that timer again, and we're going to go straight into full body stretch. So, big deep breath in as I breathe out. I'm going down towards those toes as much as I can. Slowly pushing those fingers down towards the ankles and toes, keeping the knees on the floor, bringing that head down towards those knees. And my flexibility has waned a little bit since we've been housebound. I'm not doing as much stretching as it should be. But I'm gonna work hard on it now over the next week or two. And I hope you are too. Bring that head down with each exhale. More and more. Really feeling that stretch in the legs, lower back, spine. Great full body stretch. Really good one. Keep that chin up the chest. And coming back up, and uh, I'm my next stretch. I'm going to go straight into another stretch. It's coming near the end, it's our final part. And I'm going to put the hands on the side of the head. I'm going to lift that head up towards the ceiling as much as I can, straighten out that spine as much as I can, open up that rib cage, open up that diaphragm, bring those elbows back, and then bring the head down towards the ankles and the toes as much as I can. When I can't go any further down, I'm pointing those elbows down towards the floor and slowly coming down. Bringing those elbows down towards the floor as much as I can. Nice and gently, hands just resting on the side of the head, not pulling that head in any way. You've got that chin up the chest all the time, very important to keep those, those chins up the chest. Every time you breathe out, going further and further down towards the floor. And up we come. So next exercise, we are going to do the roll down roll up. So we're going to do two, to do it right, we're going to take two, um, two sessions, two circuits, to do it properly, slowly down. The floor using those core muscles, and slowly back up. Using those core muscles, pushing that lower back into the floor, breathing out on the way down. Slowly lowering yourself down to the floor. So I'm doing them a little bit quicker than normal. The slower you do these ones, the better. Using those core muscles, pelvic floor muscles on the way down. And the way back up, pushing that lower back into the floor, squeezing and tightening those core muscles, pelvic floor muscles, using them to control the exercise completely. So I'm halfway there, five down, five to go. And we continue on. Slowly, slowly, slowly down, squeezing and tightening those core muscles, pelvic floor muscles, using them to control the exercise. down one vertebra at a time. Three to go. Hold up my trousers. Slowly lower yourself down. Using those core muscles to control it to lower yourself down one vertebra at a time. And the same on the way back up. Pushing that lower back into the floor, coming up as slowly as you can. And there you go. So we have 
Six exercises left. We're going to do some hamstring stretches next. I'm going to push that left leg out to the side. I'm going to go all the way down this right leg as far as I can. Stretch it out. Just the right hamstring. Thanks to Jen behind the camera for staying awake. She's just about staying awake. She told me she went to school that she was having a dream during the last session. So, bringing multitask into a new level. Hold the phone and dream at the same time. One I haven't achieved yet. So pushing those fingers down as low as you can towards the ankles and toes. Look at that knee on the floor. Bring that head down as near to the knee as you can. Really stretch out that hamstring. So next exercise. So so, I'm going to turn sideways to this one. <laughs> Legs out to the side. Sit up as high as you can. Hands out to the side. And off I go. Put up a little toe with my little finger. Just have a little bit more room there. Straighten out those arms each time. Bring that head back. Bring that other arm back behind your back. Breathing out on the way down. In on the way back up. Nearly there. And that's that part. Done. So, next, four exercises left. Or four stretches and exercises left. I am going to do a big stretch again. Bring those legs out to the side as much as I can. Reaching forward as far as I can. Bend at those elbows. <coughs> Excuse me. And bring the head down towards the floor. So, kind of nearly there. And our Pilates circuit, which a few people have asked me for, to do a time Pilates session. So you have a certain amount of time you've done. So we did, I did a minute for each exercise or stretch and then 15 seconds in between. You can change it, you can do 45 seconds and 15 or 30 and 30, whatever you want to do. So you have a nice timed routine, which is helpful at times. Sometimes because you can take you longer than you think to do a workout. Maybe tight for time. So I'm bringing those elbows down, keeping that chin off the chest, really feeling that stretch in the groins, lower back, spine, legs, great stretch, another great stretch. Maybe not stretching enough. Doing a lot more running lately, running outside, which is good, which I haven't done for years. Interval training, which is really good. So, next exercise, three left, and I am going to do to finish off. I'm going to turn over and I'm going to do a plank. Can't beat it. <coughs> Elbows directly to the shoulders, knees directly to the hips, then turn the plank. So while I'm doing the plank, I'm going to do some leg lifts. Work those glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, changing over, the left leg, keeping the core nice and tight, sucking that belly button in, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Five, four, three, two, one, back down the floor, far, a stretch, 
to finish off two stretches <coughs> pushing myself up off the floor as much as I can really feel that stretch Big deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth <coughs> So, coming to the end, second last stretch, <coughs> excuse me, our exercise. Feeling that stretch, big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, on my abs. So I take that big deep breath in, wrist stretch, nearly there. <coughs> and I'm going to finish off with <coughs> lower back stretch, bring that head back as near to the knees as I can, push those hands forward and hold them. <coughs> really feel that one the lower back. Pushing my knees and ankles into the floor. Really feeling that stretch on the lower back. So we have come to the end of our Pilates session. <coughs> if there is a workout you'd like to do, just PM me on whatever you want me to do for you, and I can do it. And um, another Pilates session coming up later on the week. YouTube station is up and running. Damien McManaman, search for Damien McManaman, you see the station. Subscribe, it's free. Um, delighted that you're able to. Um, use it and I get access to the workouts. We really like that you, so many people are doing them. So thanks for joining me and I will see you soon.